So, hello guys and welcome to... I actually have no idea what I would call this, but um, I'm just going to talk about uh, E3 that just ended like a few days ago. Well, not a few days ago, it literally like ended today, I guess. It's the 12th day today. But anyway, um, I'm just going to talk about E3. Um, I wasn't there, but um, I watched all the fucking like conferences except... Um, I did not watch Nintendo's conference, so basically I'll just be talking about Sony's, Ubisoft's, Electronic Arts, and my Microsoft's um, press conferences, and just basically just talking about what I liked about the shows, and um, what games interested me, and shit, and just, you know. So, basically, I'll start with Sony, I guess. Um, so, um... They did uh, announce Little Big Planet 3 uh, for um, PlayStation 4. Uh, I did like Big Little Big Planet like one and two, but the thing is with those games you have to be kind of creative to create something, and I'm not that kind of person. That's why I didn't like play Minecraft in the beginning or anything. I I still not am, I still am not like hugely into Minecraft, and. That kind of evokes the same kind of thing. Um, I just don't don't like that. Um, when you give me like no like point to go somewhere or um, to do something, to just let me be creative, I just I don't know what to do. I I'm not that guy. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I talked about this if I'm not even hyped up for it. Um, let's see. Um, PS4 players will get an early access or beta test or something like that out of Destiny, the Bungie game. Uh, Destiny actually looks pretty good. Um, I'll be honest. They've been making it like a really long time. I, I don't believe that it can be like bad in any way, but um, I'm not... I'm not really hyped for it. I don't know why, but I st I'm not just hyped for it. I I don't know, but yeah, that's anyway. Anyway, I will definitely play it when it comes out. But I, as far as now is concerned, I I am not really hyped. And yeah, um, I didn't play Infamous Second Son. It's getting a huge DLC I guess uh, I have no idea about that I have not played it I don't even own a PS4 yet so that's it um, Dead Island 2 uh, was um, announced I uh, was not a big fan of the first game nor the Riptide game so I'm having kind of my fingers crossed here I'm I'm hoping they make it mu much more slick and better in combat because I felt it. The combat in Dead Island One was so clumsy, in my opinion. I did not enjoy that, and I thought that Riptide would um, fix all that. But basically, Riptide was just a huge fucking DLC for the first game. I don't even un understand why they sold it as a full-length game. No one liked that. I literally have no friends that like that game. So that's that. Um. And then, oh, the new Uncharted is coming. Um, yep, I'm excited for that. I like Uncharted ga Uncharted games, and uh, even even though there's been like huge like drama with um, Naughty Dog uh, in the last like two to three months, uh, I'm I still have a lot of beliefs that the game will be good. I hear that now it's under the control of like um, the guys that directed, so to say, uh, The Last of Us, which is good in that, in the sense that it's in good hands. Those guys know how to make good stories. I loved The Last of Us. Probably, actually, I hated The Last of Us when I started playing it. I thought it was so overrated, but then it grew on me. It grew on me like really, really well. I'm now saying that it's one of my favorite games of all time. Just gonna throw that out there. That was just something I could I can now 
pick up the last of us and just play through because it's so fun it's fun and it's a really good story and yeah anyway it's challenging when you throw the fucking like hardest difficulty so anyway uh kind of got sidetracked there but i have played um all uncharted games except the third one uh drake's deception i should play that in preparation of course but um we'll see i don't know but yeah, and then there's um, Grand Theft Auto will c Grand Theft Auto 5 GTA will come to PS4, but also the PC. So that's basically you could just say the PC thing. <laughs> I'm gonna get it for the PC and just wait for the mods. That's basically what's gonna happen. Um, the Last of Us will come to PS4 in uh, July. June? July? I think it's July. Okay, anyway, um, and I don't have a PS4, so, uh, wah, wah, wah. Actually, the fun thing about that, um, is that they showed a trailer in which they showed a shit ton of spoilers, and they even in the beginning said that this trailer contains spoilers, and the crowd just went like, ha, <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, that's actually interesting, because... I think they understood that everyone has played the game at this point and no one like well maybe there was some some guy that was waiting for the fucking like PS4 release and yeah I don't know I don't know I'm taking this to a weird place but okay um Magicka 2 and yeah Magicka 2 I don't know I haven't played the first one Grim Fandango I've not played that all also, so no, neither. I haven't, no, I don't know. So, we'll just see when it comes out. I might buy it. I, I, I have literally not played any Tim Schafer games. But I hear he's a weird guy. So that's interesting. I might do it just because of that guy. And then, um... From software, um, PS4 licensed to Bloodborne. That, this is probably the most exciting thing from um, the Sony press conference for me. Just considering I love Dark Souls. And it does not look like it's a Dark Souls thing. But I think it's going to be good in any way. Um, it's a bit like what Van Helsing, I think. And... It's supposed to be much more fast-paced. And yeah. So that's pretty much all from the Sony thing. Uh, next would be Ubisoft. Um, Assassin's Creed Unity. Um, that's interesting. I, I am now playing through the Black Flag. Assassin's Creed 4 or Black Flag. And I, I have to say, I have, there's not a single... Assassin's Creed game that I have like thoroughly enjoyed unless they like fix the thing that it feels okay let, let me just just zero this out Assassin's Creed games feel so like clumsy to me like yeah like Dead Island combat but no but seriously like seriously like the game in itself is pretty good like I'm now talking about Black Flag um, there's a lot of like it's really pretty I like the like um, sailing and stuff that's fun but in every single Assassin's Creed game the running mechanics the jumping mechanics the climbing mechanics everything everything feels so clumsy to me it's stupid in my opinion that it's like if you want to climb something it's just push push the fucking like stick forward and press some other button you don't have to do anything else and that's pretty much the whole game in my opinion that's that's pretty much how you play the whole game um even the combat feels so fucking stupid it's l just like waiting and shit i don't i don't mind wa waiting but it feels stupid in my opinion i don't know why yeah, that's the most shittiest um, complaint. I know, I know. You don't know why it feels like shit. 
<laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, so to Assassin's Creed Unity. Um, since I don't like the Assassin's Creed series so much, as you just heard, um, Unity might be a change because I like the fucking like um, French Revolution. That's that's a really awesome place to take that series. Um, and there's going to be like um, side quests, which is pretty good, except knowing SSS Crit series, it's going to be the most like boring, shitty like, um, you know, um, side quests. Pretty much I'm going to expect that it's going to just go in a circle, just, oh my god, someone killed my husband, better go get him. And it's going to be that just again and again and again and again. But yeah, uh, then it's, yeah, actually, one thing about that also that I like is that there's now multiple people that can play the assassins. That is cool, except what the trailer showed is that everyone's just an assassin and no one has a certain job, so to say. I guess they're gonna make the assassinations much more harder to do, but... As of now, I have not seen a single like uh, time in Assassin's Creed where it would have been smart to like sneak and kill the guy. Because it's it's seriously it's just easier just fucking kill everyone and kill the guy. That's seriously that's easier way in Assassin's Creed. Um, except except if um there's a like um. You get a failed kill screen, failed screen when you kill others. I don't know. I don't know. I'm taking this to a weird place, but so maybe if um, adding other players to it and playing with friends, it might bring me back. I don't know. Um, we'll just see. I don't know if any of my friends are going to get that. But yeah, um, the Rainbow Six. Uh, Siege. I have not played any Rainbow Six games. I'm sorry, I don't know about this. Uh, and now I'm looking at this list and it's missing a few things. Um, what was that, the Ubisoft? Um, yeah, I'd like to talk about first the Division. Um, they first time announced that a year ago at um, E3 2013. Wait a minute. 2013 and um, that was interesting in my opinion um, that was the g my game of sh show that year uh, without a doubt it looks so fucking amazing just playing with your friends in that kind of thing and just um, taking homes in different like buildings that are like um, in this desolate area of New York where some infection has spread and yeah that seemed so cool that seems still seems cool, and one of the guys can play with his fucking like iPad or something, play as the drone, so to say, and others are just gunning down people in the street. That's that's fun to me. That sounds fun, um, and I think that's something my friends would even like. So I'm really still really excited. Uh, they didn't show much more to that formula uh, formula uh, this year. But, um, actually the trailer that they showed um, with the time lapse kind of thing, with the candles like burning fast and uh, people being invisible, that was a pretty good trailer in my opinion. I think I would have actually liked the trailer more if the guy wouldn't have like told anything about the trailer before it started. Like they had hired some guy, and well not hired, he was probably an employee, like a really meaningful employee at Ubisoft. But um, the guy was like, So this is Desolate, New York. You are a special trained soldier. And you are released three weeks after the... I don't know. I, he didn't even have that accent. I just... I just parsing. He did it like really clichely. Like he told the story like it was like one huge fucking cliche. It sounded like a trailer before a trailer. Well, anyway, 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 I'm getting out of hand here. So, 
Um, it still looks good. I'm still excited for it. Unfortunately, it's gonna be a really late l release, 2015 or 2016. Just gonna say that it's gonna be a fuck ton of time before we get our hands on it. And I hope, I so hope that they're gonna do it for the PC. I actually have no idea will that come to PC. Let me just check here. Uh, what's the game called? Oh fuck! What's the game called? It's Tom Clancy's The Division. Oh yeah. Uh, Division PC is coming to PC. Okay. Yep. Uh, never mind. It's this is a, a PC gamer um, article. Um, Written by Tom Sykes and 20th of August 2013. It's coming to PC. Thank God. Just saying, that that game works on the PC. And I really was not excited because um, it was going to be a Xbox One exclusive. And I'm not going to get an Xbox One. That's just, I'm not doing that. So... Uh, what else from Ubisoft? Far Cry 4. Uh, definitely excited for that. I liked Far Cry 3, and they've really taken the same kind of lineup on that, like having that um, crazy, um, weird, um, interesting antagonist here. Um, I have to admit, I probably like the 2012. Oh, that was E3 2012 that they announced Far Cry 3. Yeah, um, yeah, that was actually pretty fucking good. That, um, <laughs> yeah, that that trailer, the definition of insanity. I think it was. That was that's one of my favorite trailers of all time, without a doubt. It's just really good. Like, it shows who you're fighting, and it shows him in a really interesting way, and just. Yeah, just like, he does like that philosophical shit, like, um, do you know the definition of insanity? Like, that kind of thing. But yeah, I'm really getting sidetracked here, but, um, they did that kind of again here, uh, with the new antagonist. I actually don't remember his name, but he was, like, blonde and, uh, really stylish, and he just said, like, something and I got fucking blood on my boots, something like that. Um, it was, it felt a bit cliche, but uh, I liked it. I liked the trailer. It's hard to um, make that kind of trailer again because um, otherwise you're just gonna be repeating yourself over and over and over and over again. But that being said, I am really excited. Um, actually, like that the thing that he's kind of that modern. Um, Maybe a hipster kind of thing. Uh, maybe a little, f a little bit like a diva. I'm talking about the antagonist here. Um, he feels really interesting. He actually feels like um, Javier Bardem in um, Skyfall. What's that character's name? Um, I don't, I don't remember that character's name. But the Bond's antagonist in the skyfall. He feels a bit like that. Um, that being said, uh, it was pretty like predictable where the trailer was going um, in that sense that the guy got... this is a spoiler for the trailer by the way. <laughs> Wrap your head around that. Um, the guy got stabbed in the neck or um, the throat that everyone saw that coming. When he was asking him questions, I think. Um, yeah. But anyway. It was actually weird about the trailer. Um, it seemed like um, the antagonist knew the protagonist guy. Uh, like he said that I could recognize those eyes anywhere. Maybe he was doing some weird like thing there. But I don't know. It might be that it's growing to be a plot twist. Where the um, protagonist is the guy's like brother in the end or something like that. I'm I'm really taking this far. The game it hasn't been out yet. I I literally know nothing about the game yet, so um yeah. 
uh, they did show a demo for it, which was interesting. Uh, I think at was that at the Ubisoft conference? I think that was at the Ubisoft conference. Yeah, um, the trailer, no, the demo uh, involved you driving a truck off the cliff using the fucking like um, wing suits. I'm I'm really loving that that thing is making a comeback. I like that in the uh, th third game. And then it showed you uh, invading some kind of fortress with your friend, who was like a piloting that kind of weird, like, um, helicopter thing. Yeah, and then they announced that uh, Far Cry 4 won't need... Um, you can play co-op with your friend who doesn't know the game. Which is a ballsy move, in my opinion. That, that's a great move, but that's a ballsy move in that sense. Um, actually, that's kind of smart in the sense that um, that is a great way to like um, market the game to your uh, customers, friends. That's basically just like, hey guy, um, I got this cool game. Wanna play the secondary character with me? You can do it for free. And that's kind of that's kind of devious, but that's kind of fun in that opinion. Um, just going to leave that there. I'm really excited for Far Cry 4 and it's definitely one of my um, favorite games from the show. Um, yeah. <sighs> then would be Electronic Arts. Uh, I have not played Mirror's Edge yet, um, the first one, but I am waiting a bit for um, the next Mirror's Edge. I still have no idea what that's going to be like, in a sense, and I still don't know if I will like it, because I have not played the first game. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I have nothing else about that. Uh, there was a lot of sport games um, at the f uh, EA thing. Not surprised, because um, they have EA Sports, that's pretty much their, uh, not the whole MO, but you know, fuck it. Um, only one I'm excited about, well, not even excited, just really fucking passive, um, is NHL 15. I've never been a fan of FIFA games, uh, never been a fan of UFC. It's all hockey for me, nothing else. And basically, um, I bought NHL 13, I think, and it was a honking piece of shit. It was literally a pay to win. So yeah, that's that. I don't think I'm really interested in that. So, other things at the EA conference were like Battlefield Hardline. That's interesting. Um, it's actually weird that they took it to a cops versus robbers kind of thing. I don't know if that's a Battlefield game anymore. Why not say it's just... Take a another IP. Well, I I get it why they're using the Battlefield IP. That's known, and the game looks like a Battlefield game. It should be a Battlefield game. Okay, I get it. I get it now. But yeah, um, not excited for that. But um, I will probably test it when it comes out. I have a friend that is huge with um, Battlefield games, so he'll probably want to play that. Um, Wait a minute, I'm yeah. just checking EA. Yeah. What yeah, else? Yeah, what yeah, um. No, <laughs> 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 fuck this is. Some <laughs> shitty thing. Okay, fuck it. I'm continuing the list. Um, The Sims 4 was also so, um, announced. Not that excited. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Sorry, that was a long ass yawn. Um, not excited for that. I just woke up, by the way. Um, not excited for Sims 4. I'm never been a big Sims fan, and just yeah, I don't know. Doesn't really scratch my itch. So then we get to Microsoft. Um, wait a minute. What was the Ori game called? Was it Ori and the Forest? Ori and the... Well, there's a new game by um, the people that made... Um, 
Oh fuck, I'm really lagging here. People that made Limbo. There's a new game from them, and it's called Orient of something. God damn it. This is the most unprofessional unprof I've ever been. I just got a text message also that I can check right now. I think it was Ori and the Forest. Okay, fuck it. Anyway, uh, that looked interesting. They did not show a lot of um, gameplay footage of that, but I am waiting for that because um, I loved Limbo. And it looks to be good, even though uh, it looked like um, the fluffy guy in... Not the fluffy guy, the bird guy died because that's really fucking sad, even though I, it's just a trailer. Okay, anyway, um, yeah. They're still making Fables. Um, now it's a four-player co-op. Um, I think it was Fable Legends or something like that. Eh, I don't give a shit. It's gonna be... Oh, there was actually interesting thing about that is that one guy can like um, make the levels like design and be the antagonist so to say in the levels that was interesting in my opinion but I don't know if that's gonna work so to say I'll just have to find out when it comes out it sounds l really clunky when you uh, talk about it and yeah like even the trailer felt a bit clunky to me but yeah so, um, then there was Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Don't play card games anymore, um, don't give a shit. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 was the last good card game. God, bleh, fuck, card game. Okay, um, so, um, the new Lara Croft game was announced, and it's called um, The Rise of the Tomb Raider, or Rise of the Tomb Raider, I don't know. Um, and so yeah, that's interesting. I did not like the first Lara Croft game, as some people may remember, but people really loved, loved that first game. And, yeah, I don't know, it might be good. I hope that I honestly don't know what they can do to like appease me with the series because people loved the first game. I found some things a bit clunky in the game like um, the fighting mechanics and shit. Overall climbing and shit felt a bit odd to me. A bit like, like Assassin's Creed actually. And yeah. So yeah, that's the thing. Uh, and it's supposed to come out uh, end of the next year, so we'll see it in next year's e G E3. What you get? <sighs> yeah. Um, I am so happy that the developers are able to like continue making that series because um, yeah, I don't know. Um, they did a. I wouldn't say good job with the first game, but it is it was pretty fucking good job. It that game is still beautiful in my opinion. Really good looking and um even though I didn't like it myself, I can probably say that um uh it's it's worth the money. And it was a bit underrated maybe. Alrighty then. Uh what else? Um Crackdown. Uh they're getting a new crackdown game. I don't know, do we need any more Crackdown games, considering we already got Saints Row? They're basically the same thing. I'm kidding. Not even. But yeah, um, I'm not a big Crackdown fan. I never played 1 and 2, so... Yeah. Um, there was a annunciation of um, a Halo collection. I don't remember the cor correct term for it, but... Um, it basically has all the Halo games from 1 to 4, all the Master Chief games, and that's that, um, and then there was talk of Halo 5, mm. Guardians, so to say, um, I'm kinda interested, that is at the moment the only game that's dragging me to, um, towards Xbox One. 
Uh, and it's nice that they're bringing Arbiter back. At least that's what I saw from the trailer. Feels like they're bringing Arbiter back. Oh, right. Uh, there's Sunset Overdrive. That that seems cool. I kind of like that. Um, the art style and everything about that. The thing with the demo, though, uh, is that it seems a bit easy. Like, I don't see the challenge there. It seems... Well, maybe it is just like have the most fun you can have kind of game. Um, no challenge, but yeah. Seems a bit odd to me, but I'm expecting for that also. So I, I don't know what else to say about that. And now that, now that we've um, covered pretty much all the... Well, actually, I forget a few. Um, okay, let's just <coughs> go through the fucking... Um, games that I forgot. Uh, I shit you not, it's been eight hours um, since I did the first part of this. Um, I went shopping and shit. So yeah, uh, I don't know what I covered, but um, I can already say that I am excited for Bloodborne. That's the pretty much the Dark Souls thing. Um, yeah, uh, let it die. Not excited. Um, the Order 1886. Um, I am kind of excited for that, even though the demo that they showed um, was absolutely beautiful, really good looking. Uh, that being said, um, it's not really um, maybe a my cup of tea kind of thing. <coughs> they didn't really show anything um, about the fucking, like, what the game is, so to say. Except um, shooting the fucking monster thing. thing. Maybe it's kind of the um, Van Helsing thing once again, but we'll see. Um, as I said, I'm not covering any Nintendo titles here, because um, I'm not a Nintendo guy, in my own opinion. Um, and that being said, as always, and as pretty much everyone else, I am excited for the new Super Smash Bros. Because, seriously, who isn't? So, oh, Bayonetta 2 got announced. That's interesting. That's really interesting, in my opinion. So, yeah. Um, that being said, I would like to announce the game of the show and what I'm expecting and the ga games that I really um, am expecting the most out of this all. Um, yeah. So, I'll do that. So, game of the show. For me, I'll just get to the point here. Um, for me, the game of the show, without a single doubt, was The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Um, let me base this up. So, first of all, I'm a huge fan of the second game of The Witcher. Um, the first was um, really good also, but uh, I th think that the story really picked up in the second one, and they got rid of the battle stances, which were stupid in my opinion. Uh, great ideas, but um, really badly implemented into the game. Um, well, not even bla badly, I was just bad at playing the game. Okay, okay, I didn't get past the fucking dog boss. Okay, fuck it. Um, so basically, uh, Wild Hunt is my favorite game of, th of all the games showed at E3, because of few reasons. Um, as I already mentioned, I am a huge fan of the uh, series anyway. Um, second is, the graphics looks look amazing. The graphic, it looks so goddamn good. And the promise of the game is even better. Like, seriously, I'm just going to blow, like, CD Red Project's um, dick here, because they've done a huge, like, amazing job here. Um, even though I haven't played the game yet, um, I can only expect it's gonna be great. Considering it's supposed to be, I think, seven times the size of fucking, like, um... What is that? Um... The fucking... Oh my god, I'm really lagging out. Uh, Skyrim! 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 Jesus! So it's supposed to be huge. The game is absolutely huge. And there was a demo of, um... Geralt um, hunting a griffin, which is probably so awesome that I can't even handle it. Even though they didn't really show much of it, I can just say that 
it's it's amazing that you kind of stumble into other things like in Assassin's Creed Unity, and you can like um, interact with other pe other people while you do your thing. And the most amazing thing that I have to say about this game is that it is it is The Witcher, and we're f finally doing what The Witcher does. We're hunting. I know, I know, I know, I know. Both games, one and two, I think, had the like bounty hunter. No, not bounty hunter. Um, the bounty board things. Um, clipboard. Any what the fuck's that called? You could go hunting things, but that's that's not what I want. I want epic battles with epic like fantasy creatures, like the griffin. Like you have to hunt it. You have to like follow its blood everywhere. That is amazing. And the game looks amazing also. And everything I've seen as far as like story wise, it is going to be a shit is gonna hit the fan game. It is seriously. They're gonna at least that's what the trailers promise. They're gonna be um, referring a lot of to the core story of Geralt and exploring his past and a bit like in the second one and honestly I don't I don't see a way that 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 game could like disappoint me I honestly can't even though even though there's only like one let, let's let's say that there's one like um fucking griffin fight in the whole game like um they promised in Assassin's Creed 2 that you could use the flying machine like all the time. Well, they didn't promise, but um, anyway, that was in the trailers and shit. Uh, even though it was just one moment in the game. Uh, even though the Griffin would be the same, like the flying machine, it's only one time in the game. I am probably still gonna love the game, because if it's, if it's anything like Witcher 2, I will, I will eat that up. I love that game. So that's basically my two thoughts on the fucking, like, Witcher Wild Hunt. Um, that being said, I already, like, um, pre-ordered it, like, a week ago for the PC. Actually, I got some, um, what are those called? Um, not sales. Discounts. I got some discounts on it because I own, already owned, um, Witcher 1 and Witcher 2. So that was pretty fucking awesome. So that's that. That's my probably my game of the show. Uh, last year it was The Division um, by the Ubisoft company. Um, I don't know who's developing it. I don't know the company's name, but it's published by Ubisoft. That was my game of the year, game of the show last year. Um, I can say that I am still hugely, hugely, hugely um, awaiting like um, the division. But that being said, I don't actually know which would come comes like first. Like, will Will Wild Hunt or the division come first? Because they literally said like um, like maybe five months ago that they haven't even begun making the fucking um, uh, the division. So there's that. I don't know when it will come, but I am excited. I am excited for both of, both of these games. And, yeah. That's pretty much all I have to say about this. And thanks for listening, I think, or watching. I don't know how I'll make the video. Uh, this was a clusterfuck to make, but I did it. And, yeah. This was actually really relieving to make for myself, because one of the things... Um, that drew me into podcasting in the first place was Tolly Rad Show um, commenting on E3 in 2009, I think. That was a great year and I loved watching TRS back in the day. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye, shumils.